Time for baseball of the AAA variety as the show brings you coverage from the International League. Tonight, the rubber match of this three-game series between the Charlotte Knights and the Durham Bulls. So coming to the plate, Nick Madrigal. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Fastball is looked at for strike two. As usual, no surprise, 72 degrees, the game time temperature here inside Tropicana Field. Hit on the ground out to short. Fielded cleanly, and there's one gone to begin the evening. In now, Gorky Hernandez is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. 3-2 pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Ruhan backs up and takes care of it. Two away. So here's Daniel Polka now. Batting 300 for the series. Three for ten. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two balls and a strike. Nope. Comes back with a fastball low, and that moves it to three and one now. Nicky Delmonico would be next. Popped him up. Smith is there. And the inning is over. Riding forward now, Randy Rosarena. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Line to the right side. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Standing in now, Lucius Fox. Now a ball hit hard toward first. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. That is third. The first baseman, Nate Lowe. So now to the plate, Nate Lowe down the first baseline. Rounded up the first baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Lays off two and two now. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him, and I doubt there was any intent behind that. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Brian O'Grady. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. This is pulled into right. That's in there. Base hit. The runner from third crosses the plate, and they've taken a 1 0 lead. To the plate now, Dylan Cousins. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And he tries to get to the backhand, but it gets on by. One run scores. And the second run will score as well. Batting trip. The designated hitter. Johnson. At the plate, Dalton Kelly. Ripped on the ground to first. The second for one. On to first, and they get them both. At the plate, Kevin Smith, runner in scoring position with two gone. Kevin Smith. And he fouls this one off. Another full count pitch home. 
And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. Third baseman. So striding in, Kevin Padlow. Another first inning RBI opportunity for him here. The 1-1. One, one. Three runs already home here. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. Unable to find the zone with the slider. Vidal Bruhan would be next. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Digging in the switch hitter, Vidal Bruhan. And he's got a shot to open up an even greater lead if he can get something into the outfield. A good pass at that ball, just a little late, and now the count's full. Ready with the payoff pitch. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. And now in the box, Randy Rosarena. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, Matty, pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. Another payoff pitch. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Payoff pitch one more time. Count remains full. Payoff pitch on its way. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Here's the center fielder. One run is scored. He pulls into second safely as two runs come across to score away from the play. Drew Anderson comes on to work much earlier than anticipated, obviously, as he'll try and right the ship in the very first inning. Number 53. Stepping in now, Lucius Fox. High in the air out towards shallow right. Rutherford is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. Next up is the sneaky pop of Nicky Delmonico. He's got three hits in six tries for the series. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Hit down the line at first, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Running hard. He's digging for second. And a high bounce will take it over the outfield wall. And he kicks off the inning with a ground rule double. Into the box now. A.J. Reed. Swung on and missed. One and two now. This is skied into short left center. O'Grady comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. At the plate, Blake Rutherford. The right fielder, Blake Rutherford. The 1-1 one, one pitch. That's ball two. Two balls, one strike. I think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. Fouled off.
2 2. Here it is. And he popped him up, drifting back behind first. Low ranges back, and he has it for out number two. Here now is Chesler Cuthbert. It's been a great series for him at the plate. Five for eight so far. Cuthbert. Now the one and one pitch. Slapped hard the opposite way. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. And he's out. Beautiful throw home to cut down the run. Into the box, Nate Lowe. Strike two as the fastball is let go. Good change up in the dirt. Strike three. And he makes the throw to first. Low is retired, and there's one away. Digging in for his second at bat. Brian O'Grady looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Fastball taken a little under the letters, called a strike. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it. Two and two. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Dylan Cousins will be next. And he struck him out as well, so he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. Ready for another chance? Dylan Cousins. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Riding in, Yerman Mercedes, and they are squarely into chip away mode, looking at a 6 0 deficit already in this one. In the air out to straightaway left. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Standing in, Laz Rivera, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Lifted into center field. Center fielder on the run. He gets there, and that's the second out. Ready now, Nick Madrigal. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Two out, nobody on. Line drive that's going to be caught out there at short. Pretty much right in the glove that time, and the inning is over. Bottom of the third now, and standing in is the DH, Dalton Kelly. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Now a changeup hit on the ground to shortstop. And that's out number one. Kevin Smith will be next. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Liner toward right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. The third baseman, Kevin. So Padlow. now to the plate, Kevin Padlow. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. And there's ball four as this one gets away a bit. Digging in, Vidal Bruhan as the switch hitter will take Second his cuts left-handed here. One of the things this guy would Bruhan. like to do from the left side is swing it a little bit better against right-handed pitching. This guy has decent numbers, but not great numbers against right-handed pitchers. High in the air out to center field. 
Hernandez is there, two gone. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Randy Rosarena. He singled and drove home two his last time. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. The one two. Hit the other way out toward right field. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So digging in now, Gorky's Hernandez as we begin the top of the fourth. Hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Going back is the left fielder to the track. Gone to lead off the inning. In now, Daniel Polka. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. So the base is empty here with one away. And digging in next will be the outfielder, Nicky Delmonico. The 1-1 home is laid off for ball two. Hey, after the double in his first at-bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. Now the three and two pitch. Lined hard toward right center. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he's safe. Now that the first baseman, AJ Reed. At the plate now, AJ Reed. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Ground ball to second. This could be two. There's one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Ready once again. Lucius Fox. One for two in the ball game thus far. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. Now another one-two. There's a curveball, but it misses well out of the zone. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on two-two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. And that's the first down. Stepping up now, Nate Lowe. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. To the plate now, Brian O'Grady. Two and one. And it's fouled away. Here now the 2 2. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3 2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Ball 
all set for the start of the inning, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Chesler Cuthbert. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going, and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. A Rosarena has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. Now batter. Settling in now, Yerman Mercedes. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. The 1 1. Hit in the air out to center field. A Rosarena is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Now with the now plate, batting. Laz Rivera. He's 0 for 1 Laz thus far. Rivera. Bases are empty here with two men out. Pulls this one in the air out to left. O'Grady will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Ready for another shot now. Dalton Kelly. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Here we go. Still 2 and 2. The pitch. Helpful. A swing and he pulls it down the line and deep. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Kevin Smith. Last time through was a base hit. Here now the 2 2. Boy, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there, just out of the strike zone. But listen. When you're a 300 hitter, you don't chase a lot of those so-called pitchers' pitches. This guy knows the strike zone. In there, a base hit. Now batting, third baseman, Kevin. Standing in now, Kevin Padlow. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone, and it's a foul ball. takes ball four again and they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one the batter, number nine. stepping into Second the box baseman. Vidal Brujan Vidal. he flew out in his last at bat Brujan. here's the one one drilled to first Reed picks it up to second for one relay to first in time and just like that this side is retired Coming to the plate now, Nick Madrigal. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Drilled to the left side. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. The battle, the field. Into the box, Gorky's Hernandez. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. The batter. The plate now is the designated hitter, Daniel Polko. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and he was locked up by a good fastball for strike three last time. I'm interested to see if they attack him the same way. Come at him with hard velo late or snap something off in the dirt to see if he'll fish. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Madrigal on second. Polka is over at first with one away. Two balls and two strikes to Delmonico now. A swing and this one is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to stop it. Gone. And that one had some extra distance. At the plate, A.J. Reed. And a 
change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Not where he wanted that fastball to be and it's three and two now. Now the payoff pitch home. And now this ball's in the air to deep right field. Going back is the right fielder. And this one's gone. And they're within one after back to back homers. Blake Bivens will come on now as he'll be appearing in his 45th game this year. Number 32, Blake. Into the box now, Blake Rutherford. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Digging in, Chesler Cuthbert. His line includes a single and a fly ball and two at-bats thus far. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Bruhan ranging into the outfield. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Carson Fulmer will come on now as he'll be appearing in his 45th game this year. Bottom of the inning now, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Randy Rosarena. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Fulmer, a right-hander who stands in even six feet. He was selected in the first round back in the 2015 MLB draft. I know this guy hasn't turned out the way everyone expected, but he's still young. I don't think you can give up on a guy that has a tool set like this. Into the box, Lucius Fox. He's working on a one for three thus far. Line toward the alley in left center. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. The throw into second. And a good effort to bring it back in quickly, but he's in at second base with a double. In now, Nate Lowe. Bounced softly in front of the plate. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Stepping into the box, Brian O'Grady. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. I got two on the count. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. One of the most frustrating things for me to watch in this game is guys getting count leverage and not pull the trigger on a fastball middle in. That's why you play, to get in those situations where you can try and do damage. What do you want, the nasty slider? And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Stepping up to the plate, Yerman Mercedes. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first down. The batter, number five. Coming to the plate now, Laz Rivera. 0 for 2 for him to this point. 1-1. Strike two, swinging. One out, nobody on. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Now back. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Nick Madrigal. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Hit in the air down the right field line. And no one will track it down. Two out, nobody on. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. The 2-2 two -two one more time. It's looked at and the count moves full. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out. Hammered the other way to deep right field. 
And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Last half of the seventh here, and standing in the outfielder, Dylan Cousins. The 1 1 home is taken for ball two. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. And now this will get over the wall down the line out there for a ground rule double. Now batting. The designated hitter. So now to the plate, Dalton Kelly. And a changeup couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. Digging in to try it again, Kevin Smith. No career numbers to talk about for this matchup. Now the one and one pitch. He swung on and missed for strike number two. A swing and a ball to left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. The throw home. Top of the throw will be well up the line as he scores easily. Ryan Burr comes on now and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven. Standing in now, Kevin Padlow popped him up. Cuthbert in foul ground. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Striding in once again, Vidal Bruhan. No hits to this point. Vidal Bruhan. The 1-1. One, one. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. From the stretch. Now try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. At the plate, Randy Rosarena. He was a ground out victim last time up. Here now the 2-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Phoenix Sanders will come on in relief now as he'll make his 10th appearance of the season. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring in the speedy Gorky's Hernandez. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Two and one to count. A bouncer to the left side. And this is going to find its way into left for a base hit and the leadoff man's aboard to start the eighth. Now batter, the designated hitter, Daniel. To the plate now, Daniel Polka. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. The Knights find themselves losing in the late innings. What are your thoughts on this one, guys? Yeah, Manny, I mean, this is one of those that you kind of scratch your head and you go, wow, you hit the ball all the ballpark, but still not enough offense. It just goes to show you this sport is still, D-Row, all about pitching. It is. It's, it, it begins and ends on that bump right there. And there's just so many facets to the game, defense, base running. It's just not the team that hits the most home runs is going to win the ball. Now batting, left Mickey. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Nicky Delmonico. And if you've been following along, you know he needs only the single to complete a cycle. Here's a drive out to left center field. The relay throw to third now, but he's safe as they also push across his score to make it a one run game. At the plate, A.J. Reed. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitchers fall behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. Three and two, full count. 
Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Looking for the K, here's the pitch. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a wall. Blake Rutherford. Here now the 2-2. Hard ground ball to third. And that'll get past his outstretched glove. It's a base hit. And that'll plate the tying run from third as we've got ourselves a brand new ball game now. Sean Gilmartin will come on to make his 40th appearance this season. Into the box now. Chesler Cuthbert. And here's a ball hit in the air. And foul. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Ruhan takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Now to the plate, Herman Mercedes. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Lucius Fox. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. The 2-1 home takes a pitch for strike number two. Here's a weekly hit fly ball off to the left side. And this is going to get down for what should be extra bases. And there's your potential go-ahead run. Not in time. And he's in there with a double. Into the box, Nate Lowe. And he lays off for a ball, 2-1. and one. This is on the ground over to first. Reed scoops it up. Only play will be to the pitcher covering, and the runner will advance to third down. So here's the cleanup cover, Brian O'Grady. He went down on strikes last time up. And he can't allow the same thing to happen in this situation. This is a big-time spot in this game. He's got to find a way to put the ball in play. Couldn't lay off that time, and it's one and two. Well, this is a strikeout situation, but it's also a ground ball situation. I expect we'll see a lot of pitches down in the zone trying to prevent the hitter from getting the ball up in the air. Set to deal on two and two. And a swing and a miss. He struck him out. And a big out there as the go-ahead run stays at third with two gone now. The 3-1. Now a line drive, and he's going to deliver the go-ahead run and might get into scoring position himself. In to score is the runner from third. It's an 8-7 to seven game. He's in at second safely as a run is also in, and with it, they take the lead. So now to the plate, Dalton Kelly for the right side and through a base hit. Blake now, Kevin Smith hit the other way out toward right field. Rutherford is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Aaron Liu comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 15, Aaron. All set to start the ninth in this one, and stepping up as the shortstop, Laz Rivera. set and the 2 1 pitch. Now the catcher wanted it down and they got him to chase it for strike two. 
Lou is among a dying breed. Those lefty specialists whose roles are changing with the new rules around reliever usage. Hit weekly back to the mound. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now Digging that. in, Nick Madrigal. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Hits sharply on the ground to second. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Now back, the center fielder, Gorky Hernandez. Standing in now, Gorky Hernandez. And it's one and two. And he popped him up. Ruhan ranging into shallow right. He can't get there as it falls in. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now that designated hitter, Daniel. To the plate now, Daniel Polka. And he misses ball four. So now that potential tying run scoots up 90 now feet to third base. The left fielder. So stepping in, Nicky Delmonico, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. So two and two now. Fouled away. And this is swung on and missed a huge out there as the bases will stay loaded with two away now. Now a crowd announced at a bit over 23,000 comes to their feet. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Struck him out. So a great job of working out a certain danger as he strands the possible tying and winning runs on base. And the ball game is over. Excellent work putting the finishing touches on this one. Picking up save number 30 now on the year. Nice job from him. A one run finish, an eight to seven game tonight. The Durham Bulls came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Sean Gilmartin earns his third win of the year in relief. Aaron Loop earns the save out of the bullpen, his 30th. So that'll just about do it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score. First for the victorious bull, eight runs on 14 hits. No errors, they left 12 men on base. For the night, seven runs on 12 hits. No errors, they left eight men on base.